This video contains solution to a numerical problem on electric potential. So in this problem, two point charges are given. It is required to find electric potential at a point P of zero, zero, Z. So let us start. We shall analyze the problem. Two point charges are given. Q1 and Q2, both of them are of same value. Let us call them Q. 6 nanopoulomb. They are located at 1, 0, 0. This point lies on positive x-axis. And for the second one, negative x-axis is needed. And we have to find the potential at the point P, which lies on z-axis. So to solve this problem, we need two-dimensional coordinate system with x and z axis. So we shall have the rectangular coordinate system so let it be x and this one z axis zero let us identify the two point charges both lie on x axis one on positive side at one zero zero, another one on negative side with minus one zero zero. So we need to find potential at a point on z-axis, which is P of zero zero z. So two charges, so two potentials are produced at the point P. The total potential is given by the addition of both the potentials. Superposition principle is applicable for electric field and electric potentials. Potentials are scalar quantities, so direction is not important here. And uh, we'll call this one Q1 corresponding distance R1, Q2 R2. We shall name potentials also V1 and V2. Total potential is V equal to V1 plus V2. See the charges are point charges. The potentials are given by 4 pi epsilon naught R1 plus 4 pi epsilon naught R2. So we need to calculate R1 and R2. R1 and this height is Z. This distance is 1 meter. So you can use Pythagoras and find R1. Otherwise, we know our regular method of calculation.
so we can find r1 as root of the difference of x components that is 0 1 1 square plus y component both 0 z component is z z square it's going to be root of 1 plus z square for r2 also same r2 is also is also equal to r1 that is root of 1 plus z square So now v is equal to 9 into 10 power 9. The charge value for both the cases, let's see what is the value given 6 nanocoulomb. <coughs> Sorry, 6 nanocoulomb the point charge. divided by R1 is 1 plus that square under root. Here charge value same. Six nano. Distance is also same. So the terms are repeated. So we have here two times nine and six divided by root of one plus z square. So this is going to be one at eight divided by one plus z square. So this is the potential. At the given point 0, 0, z. Since the z component is not mentioned in the numerical, z remains z itself is the expected answer. Uh, let us see what else is left out. And what is its maximum value? That means the potential at a point P on the z axis. What is the possible maximum value of potential? To find the maximum value of potential, we have to find the condition for maximum because V depends on Z. So we have to find out for which value of Z V would be maximum. And we know that by differentiating v with respect to z and equating it to 0, we can find the condition for maximum. Condition for v max, which is given by differentiation of the potential v, since it is a function of z, with respect to z and equated to 0. Now, d by dz of 108 by root of 1 plus z square is equal to 0. So, 108 is constant. We have to differentiate the denominator term, we can take it in numerator 1 plus z whole power minus 1 by 2. 1 by 2 is per square root, taken to numerical is minus. It is to be differentiated and equal to 0. On the left hand side, there are two terms a constant and an equation. The constant cannot be equal to zero. 
188 is not equal to zero. Then on the LHS, the equation should be zero to satisfy that required value of the expression. Now we shall go for the differentiation. It is minus one by two, one plus z, minus one by two plus one. So we have to differentiate the term here. Sorry, it is that square in the previous step here also. So after differentiation, the one gives zero, z square gives two z. Now let us see the simplified form of this expression minus one by half one plus z minus three by two two z two two can be cancelled. Now this expression becomes z divided by plus z of three by two. So we have to choose the best value for z to make the RHS equal to zero. So on the left hand side, that can be put zero. So by inspection, by looking at, you can know that just by putting z equal to zero, we can get zero on the right hand side. So that's why z value is going to be zero. This is the condition for maximum value of the potential. Therefore, V max is given by the equation of V one plus z square, but here z value required is zero. That means we are going to get 108 volts. So without this mathematics also we can understand that since z is in the denominator, the smallest value of z can make the v maximum. So smallest value of z possible in this case is zero. So we can get 108. So that is the solution for this problem.